Is this the Seth scope of the future? In today's episode of Dr. Nora, I take you through everything you need to know about this tiny weenie listening device known as the Stemoscope Pro. For those of you astute out there, you may remember that a few years ago I did review the original Stemoscope, which is this tiny listening device that was used to have listened to your friend's heartbeats. Maybe if you're at a party or if you're just having some fun, you could whip this out and take a listen to your heartbeat. At this time, it wasn't FDA approved and it was just purely for entertainment purposes only. However, Stemoscope have upped their game and they've actually got this device now FDA approved, which means that healthcare professionals such as doctors, nurses, anaesthetists, Anybody working in the hospital field can actually use this for clinical practice. I have to say for myself, this is actually a really big game changer because as you'll notice, there are no tubes. It is not cumbersome like your original stethoscopes. It is literally just a small listening device with a diaphragm on the back so you can have listened to your patient's heartbeats. Now, when you do open up the box, it does come in a really tiny box. You are met with this lovely little small plastic casing, which protects your stemoscope and inside it, is your stemoscope. You also get a charging cable so that you can charge it up and you also can add on some added extras such as a clear protective case and also some mini carabiner so you can put it onto your lanyard when you are walking the wards or walking down the hospital. I've got to say so far I'm really quite impressed with this um, because also aesthetically this looks so much more fancier than its original. It just automatically feels a lot more richer, more opulent given that it has a nice stainless steel finish to it as well which means it's probably going to last you some time if you are on the wards doing your rounds. Within the box as well, you do get a few uh, replacement covers so that if you need to undo, undo this bit over here or if it comes loose, you can simply undo the plastic and you can replace it back if you wish. Well, so far so good, but what are the features of the stemoscope? Well, you'll be surprised to hear that this stemoscope actually allows you to amplify sounds up to 100 times. You heard me right. You've seen my Bluetooth Litman stethoscope, which allows you to amplify it 24 times. And you've also seen my Litman digital core stethoscope, allowing you to amplify sounds up to 40 times. So this is like almost over double the Litman digital core, which is 100 times amplification. But how does that compare in the real world? And what does it sound like when you're on the wards or if you're in practice, for example? But more on that later, because first up, we need to have a look at its features and pair it up with the app. On the side, it's got a charging portal and also has a little toggle on the end here where you can change it for on, off, or even to listen to your headphones as well. When you receive the stemoscope, you should be charged up as I did, and it doesn't take too long to charge up. And if you are on the wards, you could just take it home, charge it up at night time, and then take it back with you to work. Once you've got your stemoscope all charged up, it's now time to turn on the Bluetooth and pair it up to your application. So I'm using an iPad over here. I've also noticed as well is that the Stemoscope app has actually changed and they've revamped it to Dr. Stemo, which is actually a lot nicer. And the user interface is also nicer as well. So the application is really easy to follow. It does tell you what you need to do with the Stemoscope. For example, it's telling me now that I need to turn it on and uh, I will do that. Turns it on right now. And, and hopefully you can see that there is a light showing up with the Pro, which tells you that it is on. And then really all you need to do is listen and record and you can even call and live stream. What does that even mean? Oh my goodness, this is just the gift that keeps on giving. So actually, because it is now FDA approved, if you have a patient that has access to a stemoscope and you're a doctor and you're doing a telehealth consultation, for example, you can actually ask your patient to place a stemoscope onto their chest and you can do a live stream with them and you can actually listen to their heartbeats whilst they're on the phone call with you, which is pretty incredible, I have to say. Now that actually does help in a situation where we've had lockdowns, we haven't been able to do face-to-face -face consultations. And if you are in need of telehealth consultation, you can easily use that provided you have access to a stemoscope, which is probably the only great limiting factor to that. Once you have paired up your stemoscope to your mobile device, it is time to listen to the sounds. Now, for this, you will need some headphones because if you were to listen it straight up from the app itself, it may not be able to represent those deeper tones or those lower sounds that you might not be able to hear if you were listening through a headphone, for example. So it is recommended to use some headphones when you are listening to the device. And the headphones that they suggest on the website is to either use some over-the-ear headphones or some in-ear headphones with some silicon tips um, um, these ones are available on the website when you are purchasing it as an add-on and these are bluetooth wireless headphones which are in-ear headphones so i'm going to pop these in and uh, off we go it's so exciting and immediately i can hear it says it's connected and now that the stemoscope is in place it is time just to listen and record now when you are listening to your patients you can actually toggle between the heart and the lungs and you can record the different areas that you've listened to. For example, if I'm listening to the heart, I can take a listen to the mitral valve and I can record that if I want to and so on and so forth. And with the lungs as well, I can listen to the upper lungs, or middle lungs or the lower lungs and I can record those areas too. So let's just go ahead and listen to the heart. 
and we might just listen to the aortic valve. And so automatically it does come with a timer, which is quite standard I think now with all of these digital stethoscopes. It does come with a pre-recorded amount of time. Obviously you can change that or you can do longer if you wanted to. Um, but there it gives you an idea of what waveforms look like. It also tells you how you want to listen to your heartbeat as well. So I was just using the extended diaphragm. Um, but if you wanted to, you can just go with a bell if you like, or you can just use the diaphragm by itself. So depending on what kind of frequency you want to listen to, you can choose which option you like. But generally speaking with the extended diaphragm, meaning the bell and the diaphragm is engaged, you actually can hear a lot of sounds. So I personally prefer to use just the extended diaphragm when I am listening to the heartbeats with the Stamoscope Pro. You can also add on some notes and you can also save it into a patient's file. So I can do that right now. And a patient's there, test one. And press save. What I do like about this as well is it does have an upload button. So if you wanted to, you can save it into your files. You can airdrop it to somebody else. Now, this is something that didn't actually, as you remember from my uh, digital Littman core stethoscope, the app didn't work that well with this, so I'm actually quite pleased that there is a save functional straight away, which is so useful. And then let's take a listen to another one. Let's take a listen to the pulmonary valve. When you do want to increase the sounds, you can just simply do this by increasing the volume on your headphones. And I'm going to try that out now and see what it sounds like with the sound amplified. Obviously, it does say that if you do amplify the sounds to a great amount, it will interfere with the sounds and you will end up with some rustling and some added noises. But let's see how it performs with a little bit higher. With the sound amplified, yes, you can still hear the heartbeats and it's really quite clear. Um, there are some more added noises though. You can sort of hear a bit of background rustling. So it is useful if you are a bit hard of hearing, you can still hear the heart sounds, but obviously there will be a little bit of interference. So I have been using the stemoscope for about a week now. I have to say it is really simple to use. No longer do you have the tubing that you have to put around your neck and you get neck strain, you feel really heavy. You can simply just pull this out of your pocket and put it attached to a lanyard if you want to, or put it uh, around your neck if you wish and take it out and have a listen to the sounds. With regards to the sounds themselves, I do sound quite comparable to my Littmann Classic 3, um, whereby the sounds are really quite similar. I do like the idea of increasing the amplification if needed. For example, if you are working on a really busy or noisy ward round, this may be really useful for you. And also, if you are quite hard of hearing as well, this may be something that you might want to consider. Whilst I do love the idea of being able to listen to your patient's heartbeat when you're on the phone call with them, I do think that this might be quite limited by the fact that patients may not necessarily have access to one of these and they may not be able to place it on their chest. Similarly, they may not know where to place it on their chest and that may create some confusion with the doctor who, or the practitioner who's listening to the patient's heartbeat on the other side. Of course, it is a great step in the right direction if we are headed towards a more telehealth medicine then certainly you want to be able to examine your patients and for sure just having a telephone consultation with your patient is really hard to establish whether they do have a chest infection or whether they do have a, a valve issue and certainly using something like this will help to reduce all of that confusion. I think something to improve in the future is perhaps Stemoscope may want to increase the different areas that we can listen to on the app for example the crotted arteries which may be useful if somebody has got a brewery for example or even the bowel sounds as well because I know a lot of my viewers out there would love to listen to to the bowel sounds. Of course, you can just listen to the bowel sounds anyway without using the application, but you should really annotate it as bowel sounds. Otherwise, you might get a bit confused if that's a bowel sound or if it's a lung. So what do I think about the Stemoscope Pro? Well, I think it's a great step in the right direction. It's 42 millimeters in diameter, which is tiny. It has no additional tubing. It does give some really nice, clear heart sounds and lung sounds as well. The fact that it is FDA approved has made me so much more happier as a clinician. Will I be making a shift away from my traditional stethoscope to a Stemoscope? Well, I'm not too sure just yet. The jury's still out there. I do quite like the idea of having a stethoscope because it gives me a little bit of prestige that the patient knows that potentially I'm a medical doctor if I have a stethoscope. Whereas this doesn't quite look like a regular stethoscope yet and perhaps people are not quite familiar with how it looks like. But certainly as time goes by and this becomes more and more popular, this may well be the stethoscope of the future. I would love to hear what you guys think about the Stemoscope Pro and especially what it sounded like as well. And for those of you out there who are intrigued, I'll be doing a follow-up video for the Stemoscope Pro versus the Littman Core Digital and seeing which one is 
better. I hope you guys have found this video useful and of course if you have any questions or comments please don't hesitate to drop me a line in the comment section below and I'll see you on the next one. Take care and stay healthy.